loves it's your girl pink here and today i am doing a video on my emily wallet from louis vuitton i wanted to wait until i had owned this wallet for some time before i did a full review on it and this one i have owned and had in my collection for over 30 days now and so i felt like it was the perfect time to share with you guys my opinion of the wallet how i use it and why i chose this one versus the many other choices that louis vuitton offers first i'll start by saying that this particular wallet smells so delightful guys every time i pull this out i feel like i get this whiff of leather and it just makes me so happy okay the pink rose ballerine was what drew me to this wallet instantly when i went to the store to get a wallet i did not have a budget in mind because i did not know that i would be purchasing a handbag from the store so i didn't give myself a budget i just said i want a louis vuitton wallet i want a new brand new from the boutique wallet and i'm gonna pick out one that very pretty and that's you know my personality obviously and so I wanted some monogram because I am a monogram lover I think those other prints Damien, Damier Bean and Damier Azur are beautiful but they're just not for me right now I would consider an a bean and maybe in the future but I loved this monogram and pink I was sold so basically guys Another feature of this wallet that I love, obviously, is the flap. If I didn't like it, I would have went for a zippy or um, the different styles, the, you know, the snap. So I wanted the flap and the snap. I thought that that push button was a timeless characteristic of a wallet. I've owned a Kate Spade wallet that zips around for the past four or five five years now prior to purchasing this and it was it is called the lacy wallet so it kind of reminds you of a zippy louis vuitton wallet i didn't want anything that zipped around like that i love this classic flap style and then when you get inside you do have a zipper option so i almost felt like i got two for one with it another thing that I loved about this wallet was the fact that it had gold accents even though I did get my pop of pink and I got my classic monogram print I still got gold accents so that made it even more classier to me the way that the gold actually goes up against the monogram print it just looked very nice and charming it almost looks like a small bag like I could see them making a flap on a chain or something that has this particular style but just bigger like an envelope type flap um, the next bag that I'm looking at purchasing is a favorite crossbody bag but they've been sold out every store that I go in and they're out of stock online as well but it kind of puts me in the mind of that so that's pretty much my style obviously and I'll show you guys how I use it. Um, if I am not carrying my handbag, which is very rare, it's more so a situation of me feeling like I don't want to bring my bag in somewhere and I'm leaving it in the car or I'm just leaving it in the truck with babe and I'm running in to make a purchase or to do something. Then I'll just grab this and the, the extra space that you guys see on the side, this kind of accordion stretch is where you get the extra additional room to do things so I do have my cell phone inside of here and I do have a Galaxy 7 S7 and that one will fit just fine and I'll zip that up and show you guys how much of a difference it makes when I take it out not very much because the wallet is already pretty much in this particular condition when you get it it has a stretch to it and I don't worry about stretching it out or warping it or anything like that and I do um, appreciate the fact that I do have a full warranty on this to take it back if any issues occur as my sales associate mentioned 
one thing that she did suggest to me was that I keep this inside and when it's in my handbag I do because there's no real point in flipping it out but when I'm carrying it as a little handheld clutch style wallet I think it's just super adorable and cute with it kind of jutting out not that it has to or it's a big deal and I hear some people saying that they have issues with their little um ribbons on the side i don't know what it's called i'm calling ribbons because it looks like a ribbon to me um but i honestly feel like that's so minute if i had an issue with it yes i would rush back to the store to get it repaired or replaced but i'm not gonna like skip over the item that i want because of that or just not use it the way that i want to because of that one of the things that I found to be weird was the fact that these symbols are cut off in the front of the wallet when you have it closed. But if you pull the wallet up like this, if you pull the flap up like that, then it lines those symbols up. So I was kind of... Hmm, I don't know I guess they couldn't have raised the button up unless they would have brought the leather flap down further but I just felt like that was weird and I had I purchased this online I would have questioned the authenticity because it didn't line up and I just felt like they would not have done that or I would have thought that way but purchasing it straight from the you know showroom floor I knew it was a hundred thousand percent authentic that wasn't an issue but I just found that to be kind of weird okay and I did get mine hot stamped with gold initials to match the Louis Vuitton Paris gold and print there okay guys and so what I will say is I use this card slot holder for my driver's license my gym card and the two debit cards that I carry around and in the zipper card I do keep my car key and that is one of the newer ways that I've decided to use this I purchased this cute little Tiffany and company key ring from um, a consignment boutique and it was hanging off of my um, Louis Vuitton key holder so because the Louis Vuitton key holder did not fit comfortably inside of here I decided to just take my key off when I'm running in to use this as a clutch and if I'm not using it as a clutch then I will toss the key back onto the key ring and I was gonna pull my key holder out guys but oh there it is so if you guys have watched any of my other videos then you're used to that key kind of like puckering out over the side but this is what the key holder actually looks like closed and again I don't put it in here even though it would fit this is just to show you again how big this wallet is okay all right so guys so that's my key holder and so I do carry again my keys inside of my wallet now my car key inside of my wallet and I think that that is a nice look for this wallet so inside of that zipper pouch, I also have coins and I keep a Benadryl, like an emergency Benadryl. And then once you put your coins in and zip it up, you do want to kind of lay your wallet down and spread your coins around so that the wallet can close flatter. Some people don't even keep coins in here, which will probably give you even more space if you're thinking about putting your phone inside. So it's just a thought and it's just the way that I use mine. So behind the zipper compartment, there's a really big open space. And that's the pouch that I had the phone in. And that's what you see right here. Um, in here, I just keep cash and I have a whole $21. So I'll take it out just so you guys can see the monogram behind it. And if you've watched other video reviews on this wallet, then you've seen it before. I love the fact that the pink does come down on the bottom floor of those compartments inside of here. So you have monogram, pink on the floor, and monogram. And the card compartments or the card holder compartments line up against the back of the wallet. 
in behind the coin pouch. And so it gives you some more additional organization. I would not suggest putting credit cards back there because they can demagnetize, but I will say that I keep a few select cards back there. Um, I keep my Starbucks card, my Breeze Marta card, and a free sandwich card that I'm not going to use because I'm a vegetarian. So I'll probably pass this on to my baby. And I got some CVS little cards that you're supposed to put on your key ring, but they're in there. And in the back pocket, I keep a love letter because I'm so sentimental. I have some receipts back there, just the important ones. Um, Zaxby's is not one of them, so that can be tossed. And I just keep them here until I get home and I can foul them. And my baby gave me some Singaporean dollars. And so I do have those in here because they're just cute and they just make my wallet feel really special. Again, I'm very sentimental. Okay, guys, so I'm going to snap it closed again. Now that the wallet and, well, now that the phone and the key are both out. And as you can see, the wallet will become much flatter. But it still has that pucker and it's always had that since day one. My snap closure button has gotten a little bit dirty, but that was to be expected with the Rose Ballerine being such a light, light color. Okay, guys, and also some people have issues with the glazing on the side. I haven't seen anything coming apart or looking awkward, but at the first sight of any weirdness, I will be going back into the store. Okay, this wallet totals to 480 bucks. Um, so it was $519, if I'm not mistaken, here in the state of Georgia with the tax rate. Um, there was another wallet at this price point that I don't recall. There were several more that were 700, 800 and, you know, other different amounts. And I, again, didn't even look at the price. I looked at the wallet and I picked this and that's what I can appreciate about fashion. I don't go for what's name brand or what looks well, I don't go for what name brand or what costs XYZ dollars just so I can showboat and say, okay, I paid XYD dollar, X, Y, and Z dollars for it. I go for what I really like and what I love, whether it is $100 or 1000 If it's what I like and what I love, then it's going to be a part of my collection. Um, so basically, guys, that is my take on the Emily wallet. And again, these two items, I don't think many people um put their key and their you know phone inside of their wallet but i just felt like it was an extra little bonus if i wanted to um do this i could and if you have the newer more sleek key fobs and that's even better this one is bulky and huge the um the older style remote built in the key but um i find that the push button one and i can show you guys if you're interested because i do have a push to start one and let's just see how it looks okay so hmm. yeah that would fit that would fit much better um hold on guys because it's still hooked to the um, key holder all right so here's the push to start entry holder and I'm going to see if I can put it in there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So for those of you that have the push to start, you could literally fit this in there and your cell phone. Oh my gosh. Yes. That is awesome. Okay. I feel like I just discovered something new and I know this is not new. Nothing is new under the sun. I'm sure plenty of gals and guys are out there doing this as we speak. But it was a new discovery for me. I didn't think about it until just now. Okay, guys. The Emily Wallet. My review. Pink Vintage with the Pink Wallet. Mm. Okay, guys.